welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Uh, it's Monday morning. I hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, a little bit of rain across the country, uh, which is never good, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> but I had a really good weekend. It was really nice spending time with the family, chilling out. Yeah, it was, it's just nice to, um, yeah, to just relax a little bit. So, so that's all good. Um, but now we're back on it. It's another week. It's Monday morning, like I said, and we're going to get working on this Transit Connect today. Really try and put a push on this. Really, really try and get, get it across the line, get it across that finishing line. And then, yeah, um, <clears throat> Mark's going to come over tomorrow, have a look at it. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. But uh, what we've got going on? Yeah, so bits and pieces. I'll spin you around in a second. We'll go over those bits and pieces. But before I do, just a big thanks to all the support on the channel. Don't forget to give the videos a thumbs up. That really does help. Drop me a comment, guys. If you've got anything to say on this video, any other videos, um, or any questions you've got uh, regarding anything when it comes to this sort of work salvage. I'm always, I'm always there to help people out if um, they need que questions answered and stuff like that, if I can. So, yeah. Right. Let's do this. So guys, yeah, like I was just saying, um, we have got some bits and pieces to do around this, this uh, Transit Connect today. And uh, one of them was this, I showed you on the last video, and basically that black bit there, the plastic bit, had snapped and broke off um, on the inside of that uh, bon uh, bumper, bonnet. So you obviously can't buy uh, just that pla black plastic bit, which would be nice. I like to buy the whole assembly, but in all fairness, this this whole thing cost uh, 25 quid, so it was uh, definitely worth it, um, and it's going to get the job done and finished off. Um, also, got to do some stripes down the bonnet bumper today as well. We'll line the bump bonnet back up a little bit, play around with that, make sure that's lined up, sort this out, put that back on, and then we can do the stripes afterwards. Um, and yeah, we've got to do what else we've got to do? Uh, we've got to do an underneath tray to put back on uh wheel arch liners to put back on both sides um and we're going to be doing the uh stripes on the back as well so we're going to put some stripes down there um but we'll do the front first and then i'll spin the van around and then we'll do the back doors um later on but uh yeah it's gonna look a right smart decent van when this is all finished it's, it's really really smart this one um, I'm actually looking at another one as well, a white one, uh, Transit Connect, this week. Um, just because, yeah, just I, I do actually like this, 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 this model, this, this year. Do you know what I mean? This kind of year. The ones before, a little bit dull, a little bit, you know what I mean? So uh, I don't mind sort of doing it, getting involved in these ones. But, um, yeah, I'm looking at one that's coming up this week. So, and obviously other, other cars and bits and pieces. I'm actually looking at a, a, another Peugeot. I'm looking at a Peugeot uh, 208, uh, 2015 Reg, I think it is. Um, don't know, again, don't know, really know much about that type of car. Um, obviously, I've just done a 207, but that was a lot older. Um, and yeah, I might, go for a, I might go for a 208, a newer one, 2015. But I don't know if it goes for the right price, obviously. Um, so yeah. So, right, guys, um, let me set you up. I'm going to get involved in this. I'm going to get this sorted out first, get this, this latched in properly and sorted out, the bonnet lined up, um, and then we'll move on to getting these stripes down. Um, I've got, just got to give it a wipe over uh, before I do that sort of thing because just I don't want any dirt underneath the stripes before we do it. So that's enough waffling, guys. I'll set you up and let's do this. Right, that's a lot, lot better, guys. So, yeah. So, basically, that's what it was there. 
and it was it goes behind that and then yeah that sort of um let me just put that down in the other one so when you move that it moves the lock and um yeah the black plastic bit broke off so i had to get the new one so it's all done um i have lined it up uh, the bonnet as well um so i'm quite i'm quite happy with the uh, lines. Um, I don't think I'm completely happy with it, so I want to sort of see if I can still mess about with it a little bit. Um, but um, yeah, it's definitely sort of it's definitely line up a lot better. Um, I'm trying to go by all the points, so like I'm trying to line up this this line here that goes across here. I'm trying to get these lines going good. I'm trying to get that going good. So I've got a lot of points to sort of. Um, yeah, and I've got a lot of points to go, which I think is more or less there, really. Um, you know, it's kind of it's kind of there. Um, so, so there we go. Right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, just going to mess around with it um, a little bit, a little while longer. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on these stripes and put these down. So, yeah, let's um, let's crack on with that. So. Where are they? They're over here, look. So I've laid them down. I'm just trying to flatten them out a little bit. Uh, this one is for the, the smaller bumper. This one is for the bonnet. And then that long one is for the back door. So this one is going to go like that. And what I need to do is... I need to measure the distance between that jet to the edge and then this jet to the edge. Make sure those distances are the same. And then that should be central, uh, looking that central there, looking up to the aerial. I'm trying to get that central. And then this, this bit here needs to be central to the badge. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying is that it's got to go something like that, to be honest with you. So that, that is central to the middle of the badge. It's hard to show it on camera actually, but yeah, it needs to be, it needs to, uh, I need to do some jiggery pokery with it and move it about a little bit, just so that it, I know that it lines up with the badge and the stuff. So, but let me set you up um, and you can just, yeah, you can watch me sort of set it and I'll, uh, I'll come back to you once I've put all my lines on and set all my bits and pieces and I'll come back to you and then we'll hit it, yeah? So, and obviously, <laughs> you only get one go at this. One shot, that's it. If you get it wrong, if you get it wrong, uh, I know I'm laughing, but um, yeah, I'm pretty thorough when it comes to this kind of thing. I, I check, double check three, four times before I even try and sort of put it down. Um, so, yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes, guys. But uh, yeah, let's do this. So guys, I just want to quickly run this through with you. Um, so what I did was, I've put a, you can see a blue bit of masking tape underneath, um, so it goes in the actual, between the channel where it, where I'm not sticking, if you know what I mean, so it's like bridging it. Um, and then I've measured from this one and this one to see what the cent central point is, which is this point here. Um, I've also centralized this as well, either side you can see that on the pen so i know that this line is central to this 
um, yeah, the paper. And as I've come down, um, I've centralized this with the badge as well as it comes down. So that really, once you lay it down there and this, these marks, um, these two top marks go in line with the bottom mark. And here as well, you can see I've put a little liner to indicate what line it was because there was a lot of, you know, I like to mess about a little bit. I've tried it two or three times down here, you can see, but this is the actual central line there. So, yeah, so it's got to kind of line up with, with that one as well, like that. Um, going down. And obviously make sure that it's, I've got enough overlap, top and bottom, which you can see I have. And I could just flick it back under, that way, that way. Um, so, yeah. I think I'm ready to go for it. Um, I've cleaned it obviously first, then laid it on um, and set it all up. So I think I'm ready to go for it, guys. So let's do this. Um, like I said to you, one shot, that's it. There ain't no sort of, yeah, there ain't no sort of going back. So I've got, I've got to lay it down properly and, and then smooth it off with, um, with my little tool that I've got. Where's my tool? This here. Um, and it's just a little tool that you use to... to to push down on it and get 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 out all the bubbles or get out you know as you as you as you move it down you, you scrape it down and it and it and it yeah removes all the air so guys there's only one thing for it really let's just do it let's go for it So there we go. Not bad at all. Come out really well. I'm well happy with it, yeah. And it's uh, it's lined up pretty well. It's central to the badge there. You can see it. And then up to the aerial. So, yeah, not bad at all. Um, so there we go. You kind of get the gist of what it's going to look like. Um, it looks pretty smart, doesn't it? So I'm going to carry on. Um, I'm going to do these two stripes coming down here. And then them two. And then little piece down here, little piece down here, just to finish it off. And then that'll be, well, apart from the number plate, that'll be the front uh, part done. And then we've got to do the back stripes as well. So let me set you up. Um, let's crack on and let's get this lined up, yeah? Thank you. 
Okay, what do we think? I think that's come out all right. Do you know what? It's really fiddly. I've got to admit, it's really, really fiddly. Uh, you know, trying to tuck it in there, especially cutting it around this bottom piece underneath here, trying to tuck it un underneath there, trying to get that shape. Really, really fiddly, but I'm well happy with how that's come out. Yeah. I'm really happy with that. It's really, really smart. Just gives it a nice little nice little touch to it, you know what I mean? But, uh, that is spot on, that is. Yeah, there you go. I think he's going to love this. <laughs> Little racing stripes on his van. But we've got to do the back. Once we get the back done, um, then that's going to really set it off. But, uh, yeah, looking good. Right. So, I've actually run out of time because I've had people come round and look at cars um sold uh sold a, i sold the, I, I didn't tell you i sold the abarth at the weekend uh i sold a black fiesta as well at the weekend so yeah um i've had another person turn up uh, look at the other black fiesta that i've got today and yeah it's been a bit of a bit of a manic one today but um i'm gonna sort of continue this video uh tomorrow so um yeah when you'll see me ne you'll see me next you'll see me in the next day but that's obviously tuesday i ain't got enough time today guys but it's not it's not long enough to to make just one video so yeah let me bunch it up and for you it'll be seconds for me it'll be the next day so it's the next day <laughs> for me anyway for you it's seconds but um yeah i didn't have time yesterday guys to finish this off but Going to get it done today and, um, yeah, get it wrapped up. So we have got stripes to put down these back doors, like the front. Um, but this is a little bit more awkward because you've got all these little, little ridges and these sort of, sort of you know, bumps and stuff to get over. It's really, really difficult. It's going to be a difficult one to do. Um, I have to do it really slowly. Just work, just work, start from the top and then just work my way down and uh, gradually sort of stick it on. Um, yeah, so it just goes, look how much it goes down here, look, all these little ridges and stuff. It's going to be trickier. I think that goes around that. I don't know whether or not to cut around this in a minute. I don't know because it, I think it's going to go across the number plate as well. So, yeah, we've got to look at that and see how we're going to do this because that is going to be a little bit tricky. But um, I would like to sort of just put it all down so that it just follows follow suit and then the number plate can go over the top of it wherever it covers it covers it so that that would really be ideal if i could do that but i don't know how that's going to turn out so we need to sort of see but a little bit tricky it's going to be a little bit tricky and not going down so yeah um <clears throat> but i'll set you up let's clean these back doors first um and then um let's make a start on them um, getting this this done so yeah let's do this
So there we go. That is that done. <clears throat> well, it's not quite done. <laughs> I've got to get these air bubbles out. So basically that tool that I use, uh, you just push them, you just push them all out and then just get them, yeah, just get them the best, best obviously best I can with it. And then I'll just wrap those top pieces here like this. Just wrap them over. Like that. This side, just wrap them over. Like that. So yeah, that was very, very tricky. I had to, basically I had to, I had, I've still got to trim it a little bit. I want to still play around with it because you know, it's not. It's got like jagged edge and stuff. So I want to. I want to sort of just trim that up a little bit uh, with a with a, f a fine uh, tool, um, and yeah, just 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 tidied it up a little bit more. Um, and then, like I said, you just push these bubbles out to the end. There's not as many, but considering considering really, it's not what I do. <laughs> It's not, it's not, you know what I mean? People do this for, for an absolute profession. You take it to a, a shop or whatever, I know, sort of do it for you and uh, charge you a few quid for it. But yeah, I think it's come out all right, considering. Um, and like I said, I've still got to play around with it. Put the number plate back on. Um, but I think, I think it does look, does look smart. Um, it does set it off a little bit. You know, it's not, it's not your normal sort of uh, thing to it. The little racing stripes. Uh, I definitely think the back, I think the front looks better than the back, definitely. Um, but yeah, there we go. Right, guys, I'm going to move on. <clears throat> I need to bring the van over and we're going to, I'm going to jack it up and I need to sort out the um, wheel arches, mud guards, put all that back in place and then just check to make sure there's nothing else that's, that's, that's been left behind and uh, yeah, um, finish it off and uh, yeah, get this van wrapped up, finished for Mark when he turns up, um, ready to pick it up. So yeah, let's do this.
So there we go. Guys, that is it. It is done. Apart from a little tiny bits and pieces, um, it's nothing major, but it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of all done there. So, and the stripes, I think the stripes really do set this van off. I think it looks really smart. Um, yeah. Just gives it a little bit of touch, doesn't it? A little, just a little bit of racing stripes going on. But um, I, I really like them. So, yeah, <clears throat> look really smart. And you're seeing... We're seeing more and more stripes um, on these vans. Um, if you look around, uh, tra the custom Transit Customs, there's a lot of uh, stripes on them. Transit Connects, you see a lot of them. Um, and this sort of, because this is a limited one, it kind of, do you know what I mean? Just, it just puts it out there that it's a little bit special um, <laughs> than the normal ones uh, with the, with, you know, the white ones with the black bumpers. It just, a little bit, this one's a little bit more special compared to those little vans. Um, and it is proper decent. So there we go. Um, we're done with this van, I think. Like I said, and I'll keep repeating myself, little bits and pieces for me to do around it. That, um, you know, whilst uh, the owner, Mark, whilst he's, sort of s s he's selling his other van and he's, and he's sorting his insurance out and he's having his, his holiday, the van is going to be with me and it's going to stay with me for a little while until he's sorted himself out. And then he can come and collect it and away it goes. But... Yeah, I can do all those little bits and pieces and crack on uh, whilst um, I'm waiting for him to turn up and pick it up. Yeah, so there we go, guys. That is going to be the end of today's video. Um, really appreciate the support. Don't forget to drop me a comment. And drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about these strikes. Would you do it? Would you have it on your van? Um, and, uh, yeah, just just a, just an opinion, really. Just 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 seeing what's, what's, what people are thinking. Um, and, um, yeah, we'll go from there. But... I'm looking at other vehicles, guys, as well this week, so I'll let you know what I've got. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know before it goes on YouTube what I've got, um, and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys on the next one.